the Samsung Galaxy Book 2 business is shaping up to be an exciting offering in the business notebook space. This particular notebook packs some powerful internals in addition to offering a good set of features including things like support for Thunderbolt 4, a 1080p webcam with IR support, and more. On the other hand, we also have the HP EliteBook 840G9, which was also announced not too long ago alongside some other enterprise offerings from HP. The EliteBook 840G9, in particular, is the one that we think is a solid competitor to the Galaxy Book 2 business, which we why we're going to take a look at the Galaxy Book 2 business versus HP EliteBook 840G9 comparison to find out how they stack up against each other. Unlike the other notebooks in the Galaxy Book 2 series, the Galaxy Book 2 business is only available in the traditional clamshell form factor, so there's no two-in-one convertible option. The same is the case with the HP EliteBook 840G9, as all of its variants also have a clamshell form factor. It's safe to say that neither of these laptops is the most premium offering in their respective series, but there's a lot to like about the design. It's got a starting weight of 1.36 kilograms, and it measures 0.76 inches in thickness. The Galaxy Book 2 business, on the other hand, weighs 1.51 kilograms, and measures 0.78 inches in thickness. As far as the ports are concerned, you get a decent selection with both machines. The Galaxy Book 2 business sports a Thunderbolt 4 port, USB Type-C, two USB Type-A ports, an HDMI 2.0, an RJ45 port, and a 3.5mm headphone jack. The HP EliteBook 840G9 comes with two Thunderbolt 4 with USB 4 Type-C, two USB Type-A ports, an HDMI 2.0, an Ano SIM slot, and a 3.5mm combo jack for audio. It's worth mentioning that the Galaxy Book 2 business comes with a SIM card slot with support for LTE in some regions like Europe. But the EliteBook 840G9 is pretty much your only option if you're looking to buy a laptop with LTE or 5G in the US. As for the display options, Samsung is using a 14-inch Full HD panel for the Galaxy Book 2 business laptop. The company hasn't mentioned any other variant with high-resolution options, so we're inclined to believe it'll only be available with Full HD resolution. The HP EliteBook 840G9 also comes with a 14-inch display, but HP is offering a few variants to choose from. It's also worth mentioning that the Galaxy Book 2 business panel has a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, whereas we're looking at a taller 16 by 10 aspect ratio for the EliteBook. The 16 by 10 panels are generally preferred in the case of business notebooks as it offers more vertical screen real estate, letting you read more of a web page or document. Both the Samsung Galaxy Book 2 business and the HP EliteBook 840G9 laptops are powered by Intel's new 12th gen Alder Lake mobile chips. These notebooks use pro-compatible chips, which include support for a suite of advanced security and productivity features meant for businesses. Well, we know that Samsung is using P-series processors in its Galaxy Book 2 business notebooks, HP hasn't mentioned the exact processor models they're using inside the EliteBook. That being said, we expect it to use Intel's new P-series Alder Lake mobile chips too. On the memory storage front, both laptops can be configured with up to 64 gigs of maximum memory. HP is using DDR5 memory modules, but Samsung is using DDR4 memory. You're bound to see some difference in performance between DDR4 and DDR5, although it shouldn't necessarily be an issue, as long as you're dealing with simple day-to-day -day workloads. As far as the storage is concerned, the Samsung Galaxy Book 2 business comes with a maximum of 1TB storage, whereas the HP EliteBook 840G9 can be configured with up to 2TB of Gen 4 PCI SSD. It's hard to tell which laptop is going to perform better overall for your day-to-day -day usage, since we're still awaiting more info on the exact SKU. That being said, all the new notebooks powered by Intel's new 12th gen Alder Lake processors have shown a significant performance improvement over the last gen processors. We expect both laptops to perform well across a variety of day-to-day -day enterprise related workloads. We think it's worth mentioning that both the Galaxy Book 2 business and the EliteBook 840G9 laptops have a 51 watt hour battery inside. Some models of the HP EliteBook 840G9 will have a relatively smaller 38 watt hour battery, as we mentioned earlier, so be sure to keep that in mind while purchasing this laptop. You get a 65 watt USB Type C charger with both laptops, unless you buy the EliteBook with a smaller battery, in which case you get a 45 watt charger. The Samsung Galaxy Book 2 Business vs HP EliteBook 840G9 comparison is a close matchup, and we think both laptops score brownie points for handling certain use cases better than the other. Both laptops should be very close to each other on the performance front, as we expect the EliteBook to be powered by Intel's P-series processors too. The HP EliteBook 840G9 is both thinner and lighter than the Galaxy Book 2 business, although the overall form factor is more or less the same. Neither of the laptops is offered with a touchscreen model, but you do get a 16x10 panel on the EliteBook 840G9 as opposed to a standard 16x9 panel on the Galaxy Book 2 business. All things considered, you can go wrong with either of these notebooks. Both laptops have some advantages over the other, but they should be good enough for most users to handle day-to-day -day workloads. 
Samsung's Galaxy Book 2 business notebook starts at $1,850. HP, on the other hand, is yet to announce the official pricing for its notebooks too, so we'll have to wait a bit longer to find out how much each of these notebooks costs, before we can add a buying link. How do you like this comparison? If you like the video, give a thumbs up, you can also subscribe to the channel, it's free, have a good day and see you soon.